YouTube. <laughs> Can you tell it's been a long day? A uh, long night, too. I've been packing to go to Colorado for my over-the-counter archery elk tag. Um, looking like I may have around seven days to hunt at this point, which is really exciting. Um, I'm just really looking forward to an opportunity on some elk with my bow and it's my first year I don't have to worry about going to college. I graduated this past May. Um, I went to school. I went to college the past four years. It's definitely been a big impactor on my archery elk season. Battling traveling and going to different places to try and hunt elk but then having to be back to class very quickly. So um, I'm really excited just for a little change of pace, a little bit more relaxing, kind of, you have more time rather than a rush, you know, figure it out, find the elk, try to shoot an elk, all of that in like a couple of days. So around seven days should be just about right. I'm really, really hopeful. I want to show you guys everything I'm taking and give you the plan for my hunt so that you know all about okay, it. Okay, before I show you guys everything, I just want to show you what I'm wearing real quick. This is the Rack Attic September subscription box. I love love this hat look at the cool camo on the back and then the red rack addicts logo right there and then it's like this cool camo and i love the like gray that it is in general please ignore my sunglass tan and then the shirt is awesome as always rack addicts with the really cool logo kind of red white and blue vibes and the logo on the shirt i'm sure I'm sure there's one on the back as well. You guys can use my code at the link below on Rack Addicts Gear, hunting lifestyle apparel made here right in Utah, designed in Utah, owned and operated by a Utah family. So definitely check that out in the description box. Using my code on anything that I tell you guys about always supports me. And yeah, just getting a subscription box. Hat and brand new shirt every month for under $50 with my code really helps me a ton. Thank you so much, guys. All right, so something pretty cool and exciting. We're actually going in on horseback. So it's going to be a horseback in hunt um, using some like local outfitters, friends, horses out in Colorado. We're going to use that horseback in, set up a base camp and hunt out of there every time. Hopefully hear some bugles and be able to call in some elk and all of that. So what's cool about the horseback in compared to base camp at the bottom of the mountain or you know, having to hike up and down and up and down all day or even just backpacking in is with horses you can carry a lot more stuff. So you guys will see, I'm gonna be able to carry some stuff that you wouldn't be able to carry just by a backpack and I'm pretty excited about it because it, it's gonna feel pretty luxurious for out there camping in the woods right way in the back country i love horses i love riding horses so i'm actually pretty excited right brookie you like horses <laughs> okay so we have a pillow that you would not be able to take with a without a horse this is not for it definitely not curling my hair for elk hunting don't you worry you won't have electricity anyway so this is all my camo i have a huge bin of camo probably not going to take it all um but going to take it all to colorado and then fit as much as i can on the horse just to kind of see you know like mainly just to take enough stuff so that my other camera doesn't stink and so that i have fresh clean clothes for at least seven days this is the good stuff here we have iced tea we have oatmeal we have tons of snack sticks jerky we have protein powder gatorade rice chicken more rice have some soup down there sorry i didn't realize my hair was blocking it jambalaya oh sorry brookie all the treats almonds so much food and like i said i'll go through this and organize a little more take only exactly what i need sausage mac and cheese, pasta, sauce. Oh my gosh, this would be so good. So yeah, I will definitely organize and only take what I need, but for now, I just wanted to throw a bunch of stuff in there. Then I'll go through and be like, all right, this is what food I need for this day and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and go from there. 
Okay, and then in this suitcase, this is just like regular clothes and camp clothes, same thing, not going to take them all. Probably gonna go out to Colorado and stay in a hotel before we get, before I get in there and just kind of go through and be like, all right, what exactly do I want to take as far as like really warm pajamas, all of that stuff? You know, camp clothes, comfy clothes, hot weather clothes. I think it's going to be fairly hot. So that's all in there. Pajamas, the whole nine yards. Rack addicts, t-shirts even. <laughs> My bow has been shooting really, really good. So of course we're going to take the bow. I have three practice arrows right there as well as my release and my quiver. I practice as we get into the hunts with my fixed blade broadheads to ensure full on accuracy. So many people are like, my broadheads don't shoot like my field points. And because of basic laws of physics, they won't ever do that. My personal opinion, I'm no expert, but I really recommend practicing with your actual broadheads and then just using new ones when you go to hunt. So here I have plenty of arrows so that's gonna be good. I'm good to go on that. Little bear right here knocked over one of my fly fishing containers. So I'm gonna to have to clean that up. Thanks a lot, little bear. Thank you so much. So you guys may know I keep a really nice full pantry. <laughs> oh, I also put a lot of these um, potatoes in there. Oh, I'm so excited for that. My neighbors are the coolest. Um, they give me these all the time. They get them in Salt Lake at uh, Costco, I believe. And they, I randomly find them on my doorstep. They come over and leave them for me. And it's so nice because I seriously, like, look, these used to be just stacked in there. I really go through them quite fast because I love them so much. So that type of stuff, quiet cat, that type of stuff for elk hunting, oatmeal, soups, chicken, those are kind of my go-tos. I want to try to eat something that I enjoy and look forward to eating, but that's still like nutritious and not going to make me feel like crap. But also like you just want easy, right? A, a lot of the times you just want easy and you want to go to bed so you can wake up early in the morning and do it again. I probably should grab some of those propane things as well. Thought about doing the pancake thing. Sounds like too much work with like the syrup and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, you guys will saw what I have. Definitely going to a lot. Definitely going to try to bring some of my chicken eggs up there as well. Well, you guys, that about does it. Um, I want to give you a little update on videos. This is what I have filmed and what is coming out within the next week or two. So first off, we have my deer hunt. That'll be coming out in a couple of weeks or less, I promise. Um, that's gonna be a really, really good video. I self-filmed the whole thing, have a lot of good content. I have the kill shot for this buck that I got. Some of you YouTubers don't know about it, but here's a secret. I got the kill shot, so I know that you guys like that. Um, I always put my deer hunt before the kill shot. Luckily, everything happened so fast this time, and I was able to get the kill shot self film with my tripod, which was really, really lucky. Um, so that's going to be really cool. And then I also have some other interesting videos coming out. I have a fishing video coming out featuring some big brook trout and tiger trout from my float tube. I have some cooking videos coming out. Uh, you guys know I also like filming like Western wear try on hauls. I have a jeans video coming out soon. People always ask me about what jeans I wear. So definitely keep your eye out for that. I'm going to do like a little boot tour too of all my cowgirl boots. People are always interested in that. That's going to be a fun one. I probably have like 20 now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Not enough days in the year to wear all the cowgirl boots that I've collected. And my foot has been the same size for literally ever, you know? I'm small, uh, in cowgirl boots I wear a size six, but like hiking boots and stuff, I'm a size five. Um, I like wearing my cowgirl boots a little looser with the leather and all. But for hiking, I like wearing real tight boots and I wear a five, which is small. <laughs> Look at this pest. Get out, get out, get out of there. Get out of the pantry. Come on. Come on. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you guys are doing well on all of your hunts right now. Let me know what your next hunt planned is, whether it's deer, elk, mountain lion, bear, turkey, geese, waterfowl, upland game, 
whatever it is, mountain goat, sheep, I don't know what it is, but you guys just would have to tell me. So let me know in the comment section below. Please wish me luck. Pray for me. Send me all the good vibes on my Colorado hunt. I hope I get an elk of the caliber deer that that guy is right there. You never know. Wish me luck, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye!